Okay, the holidays are right around the corner, which means we will spend the next few weeks gathering with our friends and loved ones, praying okay. to our Saying a higher of power us. that we can get through it. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that good? No, 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 and if yet. you are throwing a party, chances are spills and stains are going to happen. They're, it's unavoidable. Not chances are. It's going to yeah. happen. Our next guest is going to show us how to remove some of the tricky ones. Mm -hmm. Have no fear, okay? Joining us live this morning right now is Lauren Phillips, Associate Director of Special Projects. Special projects mm -hmm. that gave you the holidays That's at right. Better Homes and Gardens. Okay. No. Hello. Yeah. No, yeah. no, not Better yeah. Homes and Gardens. Yes, yes. Better Homes okay. and Gardens. Oh, my God. We have so Where many things in our head. Yes. Yes. No I'm worries. stressed because I just thought about my Thank Friendsgiving you. I have this weekend, and it just took me. It just Jeez. sent me. Jeez. So what's, what's great about stain removal is that there's never any need to panic. That is always the thing that sure? I love to say is, you okay. know, even if you spill that stain and you have a jumpy moment and you knock over your wine glass, there's no need to panic because we have what we call a stain removal survival kit. But the air that is removed from the room when someone spills that glass <laughs> of red <laughs> wine <laughs> and in this... <laughs> ah! The yes. collective scream. I have, I have been put on a wine timeout oh. in my sister's house <laughs> oh. because I'm the one that inevitably, sp I don't just spill, I then break the crystal oh, glass, yeah. oh, oh my I so. leave red wine everywhere, and then I'm drinking, I'm not drinking out of a <laughs> sippy cup. I haven't <laughs> been in the wine timeout for many years. That's great. Until this year is going to happen. All right, so where, what yes. are some quick tips? Quick not tips. panicking yes. is yes. cheap among that's them. number one. The other thing is it goes along with not panicking, but blot, don't scrub. It is so oh, natural yeah. to want to scrub mm -hmm. at that stain to get it, it out. Rub but it, you yeah. want to blot. We have what we love, these microfiber cloths. Oh, yes. These pick up so many great stains, and you just want to blot at that stain to pick it up rather than scrubbing at it because that could actually make the stain worse. So that's kind of part oh, of God. not panicking, uh -huh. as is these household items that even if you don't have one of those fantastic chemical stain removers, mm -hmm. you have these great household items that you might just have around your home. Yeah. So starting country. with red wine, which, right. we, which, which we mentioned, which, which we we've all, already we started all spilled with red wine. Awesome. Yeah. Exactly. A little bit of white, distilled white vinegar can actually help distill that, that stain and help you pick it up. So oh. if you, you just apply that to the stain with some soapy water and alternate between the two solvents. And a big thing to remember is to be patient. So apply the vinegar, apply the water, have a vinegar water solution, and just continue to be patient as you blot at that stain and you can get that up from your surface, whether it's a carpet, a sofa. And I always have this on hand. I have a question. Yes. yes. When do you know to stop blotting? When you no longer see red wine? When you no longer see red wine. So you want to apply your distilled white vinegar and water solution, let it sit for a little bit, sop it up with a, with a soapy cloth, see what happens, let that sit a little bit, and then keep applying. The big thing is keep applying and see what happens while you let it sit. Try not to let it dry completely, okay. but keep applying and just, you know, you, you imagine that you're picking up the stain with your Okay, one, more one more question. One more question because I speak from experience. Yeah. I do the vinegar water solution. Mm -hmm. And then do I just pour it on the stain or do I pour it on the cloth first? I recommend dip, like maybe putting that in a bowl and dipping and your the, cloth in the bowl and, and then blotting the it. Yes, the, blot. the dip and blot. That's okay. great. That's a very Absolutely. important question. Yeah. So next, a big Thanksgiving stain, oil stains, grease stains, yeah. that greasy cooking grease. Mm -hmm. I oh. love cleaning with dish soap. Okay. Dish soap is mm -hmm. such a powerful cleaner. I always it say is. soap is soap. So even if it's an item of clothing, you can use this dish soap to cut the grease and pick up that stain, whether it's on your tablecloth, on and your last minute preparations and your silk blouse gets a little <gasps> grease on it. I know, terrifying. Oh, that is so, the worst. <laughs> and that's dry clean only. I know. Yes, yes. So that actually is a great point <clears throat> that you always want to check your fabric first, though. We love these tips, they are gentle. But you want to check your fabric before you apply anything to it, just to make sure you don't maybe right. make the stain worse. Okay. We have coffee next. Mm. We coffee stains are mm. brutal. Mm. But just whether look at my chair at home. <laughs> whether you're trying to pick it up with hydrogen peroxide or soapy water, you can use a mix actually of those two. A little hydrogen peroxide actually will help pick it up, and you can pick up that stain from your surface very easily. Just a little hydrogen okay. peroxide. So, Coming so back to the dish soap for yes. a question, for a quick quick moment. I just realized this for both of these. Does it matter the color of the dish soap that you're using? Excellent that question. is, I don't know that the color matters, but what's important is that it has a degreasing agent. A degreasing agent. Yes. Here, here. So we love Dawn dish soap. It's known for its degreasing yeah, abilities. Yeah, with the ducks. That's it's great. what I use for my makeup <laughs> brushes. Me too. Exactly. Yes. So anything with grease. All right. We've gone to the pantry. We've gone under the sink. We've gone into medicine the cabinet. medicine cabinet. Yes. Now we're in the laundry room. Yes, oh. now we're in the laundry room. Oh, well, we have a lot of yippic issues yeah. here on this show. So <laughs> a little laundry detergent can go a long way. We live in a world of laundry pods. I personally don't always have liquid laundry detergent at home. Oh, see, I but always it is so, use See, you guys are better than I am. But having a little <laughs> bit of this liquid around is really helpful for spot treating. So you get lipstick on your collar while you're changing Every clothes, day. on your napkin, anything. A little bit of uh, laundry detergent can help mop that up. 
up, and then you can launder your item as usual and get rid of that stain. Okay, hold on. Yeah. I see you have a toothbrush. I thought we were blotting, blotting, blotting. So blotting, 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 but I like that you said toothbrush because we are gently brushing. Gentle, Not keyword. scrubbing. <laughs> yeah. That's They're gentle. my problem. Yes. I'm like, ah. So if you use something with bristles, you want to be very gentle with it. So very gentle rubbing. You kind of want to think of it as you're working your cleaning item into the fabric. Oh, oh now I know why my mom always kept a toothbrush in the and cleaning in the supplies thing. bin. In the thing. Yes, I have Here so many go. around That's my right. home. Light bulb. Okay. Right. Uh, so next we have candles. Ooh. Candle wax can drip off your beautiful oh, table setting and get yes. on your tablecloth. Sure can. It's actually so easy to pick up and I love this one because you're going to start by scraping up the wax and then you're actually going to get out your hair dryer and you're going to melt what's left of the wax into a liquid so you're not going to leave any of that kind of stiff oh, residue. Oh my goodness. Yes, oh, I, love I love it. That. I know, your hair dryer. So then you're going to mop it up with something absorbent like a cotton swab, a cotton ball, a paper towel and then apply your degreasing agent, your dish soap, to really get that stain out. I always was told, freeze it, make it cold, and then try to... That's another solution. So you can either make it harder or softer, but you don't want to leave it yours. in that waxy. I like the hair dryer. I'm going to try like this. Seems like experience. a quicker fix. <laughs> I, I like her. It's she a little fun. She's melting it. <laughs> she know. It's right. a little fun. And finally, chocolate. Oh, oh, so yeah. chocolate stains, mm -hmm. I think that's like an everyday concern. Also on Not my dining room chairs. <laughs> yes, thank yeah. you. My dining room chairs have coffee, chocolate, yes. and red wine. Yes. Wow. So yeah. these chocolate stains will get into anything. And dish soap is so good for most food items because, again, chocolate can kind of have that oily, greasy residue. Mm -hmm. So you're going to pick up any bits of chocolate left. It's good to use a vacuum maybe to try and suck up those pieces rather oh, than yeah. scrubbing them into your sofa or carpet. There you go. So get those up, and then you're going to use dish soap to, again, mop up that stain. The real hero of this segment has been the dish the soap. Dish yes, soap. I, I cannot here, here say enough good the, things about dish, dish soap. Any other tips that we need to know about? Last minute yes, for this so, one, maybe so hosting start things. gentle. I always start with my gentlest cleaning solution okay. and see what you know. See if it works, and if it doesn't, then I'll move up, and then ultimately you have the really heavy hitters like your, your store-bought stain right. removers, those are great, but these household items can also take, get the job done with, with minimal kind of effort and scramble. You know how they have the hotline for the turkey is burning? Yes. You need to do the hotline for, oh my God, I just spilled yes. gravy all over yes. my heirloom tablecloth. We're working on it. I think we have so many great tips on stain removal and you always want to match your stain to your surface. That's the thing is like, you want to do your research and really know what you're trying to pick up and what the surface is. There all it right. is. Keep your phone. Well, keep your phone close. I was just gonna say she's gonna have you in speed dial, and you can pick up the latest issue of Better Homes and Gardens, which is out now. You can also find more tips and tricks online at bhg.com.